Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Lit RPG Podcast. I am Ramon Mejia. I'm here bringing you the latest Lit RPG news, reviews, and of course, author interviews. This is episode number 218 of the show. I have three new reviews for you from us. Uh, that, that includes Inheritance, a Little Bitty Space Adventure, The Last Enclave, book number one. Also, The Dark Continent, Underdog, book number three. And from our correspondent, Ian Mitchell, we have Reborn Apocalypse, volume three. But of course, before we get into any of that, we're going to hit... Uh, some lit RPG news. And in lit RPG news, we got some great information here for you today. Uh, with so many people being stuck at home, whether it's under voluntary or involuntary quarantine or just practicing some good old social distancing, um, I thought I'd bring you some lit RPG novels that are on sale. Uh, these authors that I'm going to list off to you, I've actually done this intentionally um, to help readers pass the time during this pandemic. <laughs> that includes uh, the fifth Survivor series, which is entirely 99 cents each. The eighth through Gate Online series, also in every book, 99 cents. Uh, Alpha World book number one, Gamer for Life, is 99 cents, as is Last Horizon Omnibus. And Resurrection Quest, Greenway's Goblin, book number one. All those are 99 cents from Daniel Shinofen. Uh, Sentence to Troll, book number one, is also 99 cents. Uh, book number three just came out, so you have a whole like, three-book series to read now and there. Uh, the entire Awaken Online series is free. Uh, that's right, F-R-E-E. Get it while supplies, honestly. Um <laughs> Um, I would definitely recommend just grabbing these and buying them, even if you read them, uh, because they're good books and, you know, every everyone is entertaining. Um, also, Monster Hunter NYC book number one is free and book two is 99 cents. Um, and, and of course, we always have to remember if you own the book uh, for reading these little stories and they have an audiobook version of it, you can whisper sync it, which means you're just buying the, the audiobook version at a discounted rate. Uh, which will also save you some bucks if you prefer the audiobook version to a lot of these stories. That's also another way of saving you some cash and getting you some uh, high quality entertainment. Um, another small tip here is on, on Amazon Little RPG Search. Um, I do this every week, uh, but you can also price the results from lowest to highest, which means anything that's going to be zero dollars or free is going to show up first. Um, so you this, you're getting varied results. <laughs> with this, of course, um, some great literary series and novels have their first book as perma free, um, which is just permanently zero dollars. Um, other stories are short stories, or they're not really literary, but they're tagging themselves as literary, or they're just not really great. Uh, but it's free, and this is kind of a nice way to actually um, to browse and see if there's some stories you've been meaning to catch up on or, or start, and they might be free. So nice way to do that. We have links for, of course, all these things, including that particular search. Um, search grouping uh, on Amazon in the show notes for you to click on and check out and see. Um, also, uh, just a, another small little tip uh, to help uh, get you through this time of, of, of boredom and social distancing. Um, Audible is actually giving away um, hundreds of, of, of audiobooks for free to teens and kids through a, a, a special portal that they've created called Audible Stories. Um there, there really are hundreds of titles in, in a variety of languages. And Audible has said that they're doing this uh, to help kids stay entertained, help them be educated. Uh, there are folklore stories there. There are um, actual prescribed like school recommended um, novels, classic literature, even just like fun stories for, for kids anywhere from kindergarten to the teen levels. They'll just, you click on a, on a button there and you see, you'll see the stuff, but it's a great way to actually get a bunch of stuff for your kids or just, you know, adults who are entertained by classic literature, uh, audiobooks for free. And there really are some good classic literature series, including things like, um, Oh, go look, go check it out. You can see for yourself. Okay. On to stuff that is out now. Um, Sentence to Troll, book number three came out this week. Traveling the Dungeon, Dungeon Travelers, book number two came out, as did The Hive, uh, the second book in the Beatles series. Uh, Dark World's Paris is out as well. Uh, Power of Fantasy Chronicles of the Shattered Earth, which is a new story from Scotty Fuchs, uh, a fun favorite author of mine. Also, um, Nova Terra Guardian, uh, the fourth book in the Titan series, is out, as is the fourth book in the Game Makers Online series called Entering the Demon Pits. 
So there we go. Yeah, all kinds of new stuff coming out as ebooks. I uh, haven't read any of them. They come out recently. Um, we only have a couple new audiobooks this week, and that includes Rust, a rebirth of RPG, The Ghoul Empire, and uh, the second book in the Forsaken Talent series called A Black Soul Grimnark. So there we go. You guys have some nice new audiobooks to check out as well if you like those series. Um, in upcoming Liberty Deep, there's just for read a bunch of titles that are coming out in the near future for you to schedule your reading reading planning or publishing planning. On March 23rd, that'll be uh, Starlight Sword, the Starlight Sword, rather, Rogue Bertram, book number one. March 23rd is the second book in the Dark Liberty series called Dark Reincarnate. Uh, March 25th, uh, Class is Neutral, Stranger's Coming series is out. March 26th, the second book in the Rule series called Peck Pendragon. Dragon. Uh, the third book in the Touch Power series by Jay Boyce called Sense will be out on March the 27th. March 23rd, rather, will be Quest for Freedom, Hero Online Book Number 5. March 30th is the latest book in the Shadow Sun series by Dave Marth called Progression. There is no um, pre order link there. He just let us know that he plans to release on the 30th of March. On April 1st, we have Planet Hero Civilian from Anna A. Carlson. This is a new series from him. Uh, he describes it as a uh, superhero little bit. So go check it out. Um, on April the 2nd, it's a uh, Noah in the Flesh, World of Change, book number three. I really enjoyed book numbers one and two in the series. Um, there you go. March, uh, April the 2nd, also the Good Guys, book number eight. Eastbound and Town, April the 3rd, Mage Blood, Mephisto's Magic Online, book number one. Uh, April the 10th is Shadow, Sun and Shadow, book number two. Uh, April the 14th is Watcher's Test. April the 15th, the fifth book in the Dragonheart series. April the 29th is Discardium, book number four, Resistance. April 29th as well is Player Reaches the Top, book number three. April the 30th, Legends Online, book number five. May the 1st, Alchemy Online Chronicles, book number four. May the 5th, the second book in the Blood Crown series, Aberrant Quest. May 31st is going to be Glory Formation Emperor, book number four. June 9th is Reality Benders, book number six. July the 1st, the ninth book in the System Apocalypse series. And July the 8th, the second book in the Project Stellar series, The Enchanter, which I was surprised that I enjoyed as much. There we go. Those are all the stuff that I know is coming out in the near future. On to new releases and reviews. And first up this week is going to be Inheritance, a lit RPG space adventure, The Last Enclave, book number one, written by Morgan Cole, and I believe this one is published by um, Shadow Alley Press, who produces really good stuff. Um, it is 300-ish pages. Um, I actually don't know. It, it's not showing up on Amazon at this moment. Um, it is $4.99. It is available on Kindle Unlimited, and here's the author's description. Trapped on a derelict space station, Jake must destroy an alien infestation or he'll never see his home again. Still reeling from the death of his parents, Jake finds a doorway to the, an abandoned space station in his grandfather's basement. But when he walks through, he discovers he's trapped there and he's got company. The station AI allows Jake to reclaim the systems needed to support life, but there's a catch. He has only eight hours to complete the task or he'll die in, alone in the cold vacuum of space. With only his trusty wrecking bar, rook boots, and some basic survival equipment, he must defeat the horrific monsters that infest the station before his air runs out. But aliens aren't all he has to worry about. Hidden in the station is a message that could spell doom for Earth and the entire universe along with it. So there you go. Um, this is a delightful combination of sci-fi survivalism and beast building. It's really that simple. Um, the story follows the main character, Jake, as he's transported to a broken down base um, on an asteroid and he has to scramble to reclaim portions of it from alien monsters and gather the nanites from their corpses to repair the place and upgrade his own body and equipment. That's the RPG progression portion. Uh, there's a subplot about Earth being in danger, but it's not really a big deal for most of the story. Um, this is really just a slice life story where the main character is you follow him around. He kills monsters. He repairs the station to unlock new features. Um, upgrades himself with new weapons and powers and abilities as he gets these enhancements and augmentations. Um, and it's it's a really easy story to follow and it's entertaining. Uh, but at the same time, you can see the main character using his abilities and powers in, in creative and fun ways um, to, to, to rebuild the space. And so there's a lot of like little elements that are there that are just really kind of fun. I, I enjoyed it. Um, good score of 7.8 out of 10 for me. Uh, just like shy of great but like really really good so I, I enjoyed it it's uh inheritance a lit rpg space adventure the last enclave book number one with a score of 7.8 out of 10 
And next we have The Dark Continent, Underdog, book number three, written by Alexei Osirukut. It is 435 pages, $6.99. It is not available on Kindle Unlimited. And here's the author's description. Eric Bergman used to be treated like an outcast, cripple, and freak. Some pitied him, others squirmed in his presence, while others still mocked him to his face. He himself even thought he was born cursed by the gods, but bit by bit, all that changed. That which was once considered a flaw or defect transformed into an advantage, and Eric slowly learned to use it for his benefit. Eric and his friends escaped Master Chai's uh, Cheese Hive, journey over the orcish steppe through the stone forest, which tempers them and makes them a lot stronger. During his travel, Eric discovers that his older brother never went to the waste, and that his parents were lied to about what happened to him. Eric promises himself to uncover the truth about his long-lost brother. Beyond that, the more he encounters the grim heritage of the Order of the Monster Hunters, the more he realizes just how perilous a game the Foxman has drawn him into. Moving through the borderlands towards his home city no more than a few days ahead of the Orcish Horde, Eric still has yet to guess that his adventure is just getting started. Um, so there we go. Uh, enough full disclosure. I received advanced copy for review. I purchased a copy when it became available. Um, this is a, a continuation of, a, of an enjoyable slice of life story. I like book one the best just because it it, it felt fresh and new. Um, and it really had a, had a very interesting premise of, 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 a, of, a, of a character who could not advance beyond level one because he was cursed or this disadvantage. And it was fun to see how he twisted that to his benefit. Um, book two and book three, he's he's a little overpowered, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but that same refreshness just doesn't exist anymore. Instead, uh, it goes deeper into him being overpowered, finding monsters, going into adventures, discovering this world, uh, the various intrigues and power struggles, all that good stuff. Um, so it's enjoyable in a different way. It's just not as enjoyable for me. Um, I like book three a little bit better than two, um, but again, it's a very much just a slice of life story. We, the main character explores the world, kills monsters, gain tablets at an increased rate as an exploit for his, his level. Um, and it's still, it's, it's a good slice of life venture. And if you liked book one and book two, you're going to enjoy book three. Um, but at this point it's $7, it's $6 and 90 cents to purchase as of this recording. Um, and also it's just a very high price point. Um, and if it was in Kindle Limited, I think this would be a more popular series just because, again, it's just kind of fun to enjoy and see how this character develops. Um, but for seven bucks, it's like, it's, it's hard for me to justify spending it, um, when there are other stories and series that are on Kindle Limited. But still, if you enjoy book number one and two, you're going to really like this one. Um, if you're a fan of those anyways, other people who are just trying to jump in on the series, try book one out, see if you like it. And if you do, you can continue on. But uh, for me, it gets a score of 7.4 out of 10. I'm still enjoying it. Um, it's just not, you know, super up there yet. And next we have Ian's Picks of the Week. Uh, this is a segment of the show where our correspondent Ian Mitchell, a longtime Liturgy community member who reads and reviews just as much as me, is nice enough to send me his uh, reviews for the week for Lit RPG. Um, this week he just has one review for us, and that's going to be Reborn Apocalypse Volume Number Three, a Liturgy Wuxia story written by L.M. Kerr. Um, it is, you know, he never includes all that stuff, so I'll just get into the review for him. He says, Michael, a one man army. I am very fond of the story, Lit RPG Wuxia, time travel, humanity abducted by aliens to a tower of testing, complete with a system shop. So much to love. The intensity continues in this third volume. Michael has his plans for heading off many disasters that humanity suffered during his first incarnation. Cultivation is a light element this time. I have mixed feelings regarding how solo Michael was this time. His battles and missions were intense and intricate as he soloed battles that would normally require a large coordinated force. It was a dance of controlled violence of a veteran of many wars. Some of the sequences went on so long and with frequent bouts of information and reminiscence for the first timeline that I lost some of the excitement. The author's notes after the book mentioned that he thought the explaining might have been too much. It was for me, but only slightly. I had a wonderful time reading this, was pleased to see plugs for the Liturgy Game Lit Facebook group and the Liturgy podcast where this review is read. I definitely recommend this series. It compares well with Tao Wong's System Apocalypse, Michael Trattville Syndrome, and other return in timeline 
Climb the Tower series. So lots of stuff there. I've actually really enjoyed the series as well. Um, I haven't had a chance to read this yet. Uh, oh, Ian gives it a score of 9.0 out of 10. Uh, so 9 out of 10 for him. Uh, for me, I'd, I'd, I'd like to be giving it maybe a high 7, maybe even an 8 if this was really enjoyable. But in general, I, I've given this series um, high 7, 7.7, 7, 7.8. 7, 7. um, I've really enjoyed them. Good stuff. I've seen tower climbing stories before where essentially it's a dungeon dive in reverse. Um, this one also includes cultivation and some interesting stuff. A lot of new mechanics every single time um, and good fights. Definitely good fights in this series. So enjoyable. Um, and that's it for Ayn's Picks of the Week. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for listening, for watching, for hanging out with me on the show. Uh, remember, you could follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, on our website at littlerpgpodcast.com. We can get our weekly reviews. It, go check out the back catalog of episodes of the podcast, as well as just browsing through the um, thousand plus little RPG reviews we've done to find some really good, fun series. Um, and remember, if you enjoy the podcast and want to support us in any way, shape, or form, um, you can find out all the ways to do so at littlerpgpodcast.com slash support. And again, um, thanks for hanging out with me this week, folks. And until we can hang again, remember to go read some lore RPG. Goodbye, everybody.